I'm Andy Fisher, and this has been a WNEW News update. News and sports in detail coming up after the Sears Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight is a mystery story with Vincent Price as your host. Here's a preview. Everyone considers this a textbook case. Everyone but you. You're right. I don't. And if you continue following textbook therapeutic procedures, Jane is going to go into withdrawal or do something destructive, maybe even to herself. What do you propose, Doctor? Exorcism? I want two weeks. And during that period, I want custody of her. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. What if you went off to college and found that you were different from everyone else? And everything was designed for them, not for you. Suppose you went to the library and all the books you needed were in Braille. And you were the only one who couldn't read. You'd feel left out, wouldn't you? And what if you went to class and found that there were no chairs because all the other students rolled in with their own wheelchairs? Suppose one of your professors gave his lectures talking with his hands, only his hands, and everyone understood sign language except you. You'd think it wasn't fair. Well, that's how handicapped people feel now when they go to college and find extra handicaps. But things are changing, and we have free information that can help. Write Closer Look, Box 1492, Washington, D.C., 20013. A public service message on behalf of the United States Office of Education. This is Vincent Price. We all hear these sounds at one time or another. Children at play, the screeching of car brakes, a dog barking, an ambulance siren. Our feelings about them are not always personal. But in this case, these sounds, whether alone or in combination, have a special significance. When they are tied to something inexplicable in a child's memory, the child will never forget. I've got to go look for my sister. Jane, you don't have a sister. I've got to find Wanda. There is no Wanda. Jane Lytle is 14 years old. Jane's mother, Mildred, is a nurse. Her father, Jack Lytle, is a postman. Mildred and Jack are concerned parents. The Lytle home should be a happy one. But Jane insists that she has a sister named Wanda. The sister Wanda does not exist. Not for Mildred, not for her husband, Jack. Only for their only daughter, Jane. Mildred cannot cope with it any longer. She feels she has come to the end. But Mildred doesn't know that this is only the beginning of our story. Sears Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Brought to you five nights a week by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops. Your hosts, Lorne Green. I'll bring you stories of the Old West and the New. Andy Griffith with a look at the funny side of life. Vincent Price with tales of mystery and suspense. Cicely Tyson with stories about love, hate, and related things. Richard Whitmark. I'll bring you stories of pure adventure. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis' production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, Wanda, by Bernard Gerard. Our stars, Len Berman, Peggy Weber, and Rusi Taylor. On guard. Effective fencing demands style and endurance. 
That includes fencing around your home. Sears Armadillo Chain Link Fencing has both, setting off your house and helping protect your home. How? For starters, Sears Armadillo Framework has three protective coatings that work together for a lustrous, highly rust-resistant frame. Gates even match the fencing design for uniformity. So call your local Sears soon for your free home estimate. Armadillo Chain Link Fencing at most larger Sears retail stores. Join millions of Americans and shop the easy way with a Sears credit card. All you do to apply is call toll-free 800-526-0444. It's your entry to shopping convenience and quality merchandise. Your card will be accepted at over 3,600 Sears stores across the nation. And you can choose from over 100,000 Sears products and services. Even use it for your catalog orders. In the store or over the phone, just say charge it. Call 800-526-0444. New Jersey residents call 800-652-2777 for your Sears credit card. Nearly everyone at our party mentioned our new Sears Dream Supreme carpeting. Didn't anyone say anything about my rutabaga dip? Marvin said Dream Supreme looks so thick and luxurious. He loved its velvety soft plush pile. What about my rutabaga dip? Eloise adored the color. Of my rutabaga dip? I told her that avocado lime is just one of Dream Supreme's 20 lustrous colors, and when Doris heard that Dream Supreme is so reasonably priced and treated with Scotchgard brand fabric protector... Okay, what about my tuna fish upside down cake? Dream Supreme carpeting in most larger Sears retail stores. The word's out and spreading fast about the jeans from Sears Men's Store that grow old beautifully. It's a sure sign they're feeling fine and feeling good. For the denim that keeps going strong a long time. Get them trim cut, regular cut, even get them pre-washed. The jeans that grow old beautifully. Now at most Sears retail stores. I want you to listen once again, and listen carefully. And remember what you heard. A life depends on it. kitchen. Are you talking to me? Let's turn off the tea kettle. Didn't you hear me? Were you talking to me? Oh, never mind. I'll do it myself. <sighs> Did you finish your homework? I haven't started. You've been sitting at that table for two hours. What time is it, Mildred? Jane, stop looking out the window. I want you to look at me. Now take a good look. What do you see? Your mother's just too tired to play games. You didn't tell me the time. <sighs> it's ten after six. Please, will you set the table? Your father will be home any minute now. I've got to go look for my sister. Uh, you don't have a sister. I've got to find Wanda. There is no Wanda. I've got to find Wanda. Jane, come back here. Wanda! Jane! Wanda! 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 I'm home. Mildred, where are you? In the kitchen. I made it again today. It's now eight days, four hours, and 22 minutes since I've had a cigarette. Well, have a drink and make mine a double. What's, what's wrong? Jane. Wanda? Who else? Where is she? Probably in the park. Isn't that where she always looks for Wanda? Will you please fix me a drink? How long has she been gone? About an hour. Jack, I can't take it anymore. The look on her face, the way she calls me Mildred. I just can't handle it anymore. It goes on and on. We've been through the doctors, the clinics, you name it. And she still thinks she has a sister named Wanda. <laughs> Could you help me, please? Oh, I don't know. I I'm looking for my sister. I've been all over the park and I can't find her. 
Maybe she went home. You don't understand. I lost her in the park. I'm afraid to go home without her. She's only six. She was wearing a red coat. Her name is Wanda. I haven't seen her, but I think you'd better go home and tell your parents. I can't go home until I find Wanda. <laughs> couldn't find her. But she always goes to the park. I covered every inch of it. And maybe she went to Ann's house. Oh, I called there. I was about to call the pizza parlor when you drove in. I was there twice. Jack, it's not like when she used to run off when she was five or six. Now she looks older than 14. Nobody's going to take her by the hand and bring her home. I'm going to call the police. <laughs> Keep going up and down the aisle, young lady. Intermission's almost over. If you want to stay in here, you'll have to buy a ticket and sit down. She was wearing a red coat. We came here before we went to the park. Her name is Wanda. She's only six years old. We'd better go out to the lobby. Look, I've been on duty all day. There's been no little girl in a red coat. She's very tiny for her age. The manager said you could come in and look for your sister during intermission. The feature picture is going to start in a minute. If she was in here, you would have found her by now. What's that got to do with the feature picture? The lights are on. There isn't even a line in front of the popcorn counter. This picture is so bad, if your sister was here, she'd have to be hiding under the empty seats. I'm afraid to go home without her. Oh, but that's not really true. Mildred and Jack think I made up Wanda. Who are Mildred and Jack? My mom and dad. I don't know what you're on, but you'd better go trip out someplace else. Rossfield Clinic One moment, please You still there, Dr. Shaker? Yes, operator This is the front desk Mr. and Ms. Lytle are here Well, have them go to the lounge and tell them I'll be right there Mr. and Mrs. Lytle Yes Please sit down Where's Jane? Is she all right? She's fine You'll be able to see her She's in a dormitory my name is Crane Shaker. I'm a parapsychologist. I felt it was important that I talk to you personally first. I can understand your fears because your daughter's being held in a psychiatric ward. I know you've been through this before, but please listen to my point of view. Well, uh, you know the pattern. The police found her. Juvenile hall center here. She'll be held for observation. There'll be the usual recommendation, a state hospital. But I'm going to fight it. I think that Jane is telling the truth. That can't be. I've only had one child. Nevertheless, Mrs. Lytle, it's possible that Jane did have a sister named Wanda. What is it? Didn't I tell you I don't want to take any calls? For the moment, just say I'm not in my office. Yes, Crane Shaker is still here. We don't want to be disturbed. Dr. Rossfield, why don't we talk this out later in the day when you're not so busy? You are not leaving this office, Shaker, not till we've come to an understanding. Chronologically, that's the way I want to take it, step by step. I didn't want you here in the first place. I reminded the board of directors that they picked me to run this clinic. I made it clear to them right from the beginning that I believe parapsychology is an unfounded, unproven, bastardized pseudoscience with absolutely no connection to psychology and psychiatric treatment. A doctor. Unfortunately, this clinic is dependent upon donors. And one of our biggest contributors felt that this new form of quackery should be represented on our staff. That's why you're here. Doctor, I don't want to have to defend my credentials. You know very well I have a medical degree. I'm a psychiatrist. You also know my work in research. I'm all for science, but I don't wish to confine it. There are no limits. Parapsychology, which I embrace, is the scientific investigation of paranormal phenomena, events which cannot be explained in terms of what is already known. Tell me, what is paranormal about Jane? We've documented conclusively that Mildred Lytle has only one child, and her name is Jane. She's been here five weeks. The staff has concluded that she suffers from an obsessional delusion. Everyone considers this a textbook case. Everyone but you. You're right. I don't. And if you continue following textbook therapeutic procedures, Jane is going to go into withdrawal or do something destructive, maybe even to herself. What do you propose, Doctor? Exorcism? I want two weeks. And during that period, I want custody of her. 
And I'm going to give it to you. So that you can make a fool of yourself. And then I can get rid of you. What's the best way to save on new clothes? Sew them. Start by saving $40 on a Kenmore sewing machine at Sears with a convertible free arm for narrow sleeves, cuffs, and legs, a built-in button holder, even six stretch stitches. This free arm Kenmore, just $199.95 and save $30 on a wood veneer sewing cabinet. Sale ends March 31st. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Available at most Sears retail stores. Kenmore. Solid as Sears. Come, spin the wheel of fashion. Discover a fortune of spring separates at Sears Junior Bazaar. Ah, silk blend skirt and pants in dusty pastels. A blend of polyester, rayon, and silk, making them easy care, wrinkle resistant. Top them off with white on white polyester and cotton blouses. Fashion is your fate at Junior Bazaar. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Convenience and security. The Sears Best Garage Door Opener is just that. Digital control lets you select your own key signal from 512 different transmitting codes. Sears Best Garage Door Opener has a vacation switch that'll lock out stray signals when you're away from home for long periods of time. Of course, when you're home, you won't have to get out of your car to open up that heavy door. Sears Best Garage Door Opener, featuring digital control, gives you convenience and helps you feel secure. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Clinging jerseys, tight satin tops, they only look good if they hug your body smoothly. Sears Best All Bra Light helps you and your clothes look good. How? All Bra Light has no seam cups and straps adjust in the back so you look great up front. Whatever you do, whether it's dashing around town or simmering with disco fever in that slinky dress, it's flattering fun with the Sears All Bra Light. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. <laughs> Jane is once again being held for psychiatric observation. The staff all agree that Jane is a victim of a neurotic obsession, except one. His name is Dr. Crane Shaker. Come in. I've been waiting for you, Jane. Would you like to take a walk? It's not necessary. I like your office. We could talk here. That's all right with me. I've been through this before, all the questions. I know what you're going to ask me. I know all the answers. You're not going to believe me, uh, but go ahead. I'll cooperate. When was the last time you saw Wanda? Uh, we went to a movie, then to the park. Mama liked to have dinner at five. I promised I'd bring her home by then. I lost her in the park. I know it wasn't at the Royal. I'm sure of it now. What is the Royal? It's the theater. What theater? On the corner. What corner? Next to Newberry's. Do you know the name of the street? Colby Street. Colby. How far is that from the park? It's just around the corner. What do you do in the park? Wanda's six. We always had to go to the swings first. I'd push her till my arms fell off. <laughs> I bet I know what you did next. The snack bar, right? No. We'd go sit with the Indian. Who is the Indian? He was smaller than Wanda. He held his hands out. Water ran out of his hands and filled the pool. Did he talk to you? How could a statue talk to you? He must have had a friendly face. I liked his hands. What did Wanda like? The water, mostly. When no one was looking, I let Wanda and the dog splash in the pool. I'll never forget one day. It was really gray. I couldn't see across the street. Did you hear it? Hear what? You know, when a car has to stop fast. No, I didn't hear it. I heard it. Somebody was laughing. It seemed funny to me because I could hear the sound of a siren. One thing I can be sure of, it wasn't Wanda laughing. I was alone. I couldn't find her or the dog. Your dog? Not really. It was more Wanda's. He was always in the park and he would follow Wanda. What was the dog's name? I don't remember. But he was gone too. What did you do then? I've said this before, and I'll say it again. None of it makes sense, not even to me. I went home. I said to Mom and Dad, I can't find Wanda. 
What more can I say? You know the rest. Nobody believes me. There's no wonder they say. I'm a freak. Jane, parks are green. They have trees. They have fountains and statues. Can you remember anything else about this park? Um, pears would fall off the trees. They were soft and ripe, but they were green. I've never seen green pears that were soft and ripe. I have. Jane, I believe you have or have had a sister named Wanda. Nobody else believes me. I think you're trying to trick me no. so you can have me put away. Uh, we have something in common. They'd like to put me away, too. But I'll tell you how we can beat them. All we have to do is find Wanda. But we're going to have to work together. Are you with me? I'll try. Okay. For now, you're in my custody, and I'm willing to take you home. But, Jane, if you run off without me, I won't be able to help you. Now, hold on to this card and don't lose it. What is it? That's my phone exchange. You can reach me 24 hours a day. Why are you doing this? You don't even know me. You remember your sister, Wanda, right? Yes, I really do. Sometimes, Jane, our memories go back farther than just this present life we're living. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, not really. Well, I hope you will understand soon. <laughs> Dr. Shaker's office. This is Dr. Rossfield. Oh, Dr. Shaker is not in today. He was supposed to give me a report on Jane Lytle. He promised it would be on my desk this morning. Oh, he's in San Diego. Oh, I expect to hear from him later this afternoon. If it's an emergency, Dr. Rossfield, I'm sure I can reach him. Have him call me. Operator. Alice, I've got to track down Dr. Shaker. I I've got his schedule in front of me. It's He's, um... He's at the Grant Hotel in San Diego. Try there first. And then the uh, County Hall of Records. <laughs> I can hardly read my own writing. The um, San Diego Union. That's a newspaper. Now, if he gets to that point, he would be in the Department of Dead Files. Good luck. <laughs> Dr. Shaker, you're mm -hmm. wanted on the telephone. Oh, where can I take it? Uh, you can use the phone on the desk next to the window. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Shaker. This is Judy. You'd better call Dr. Rossfield. He sounded very uptight. Oh, I can't be bothered now. I'm still in the Hall of Records. I'm close, very close. Judy, I've found the Indian. I'm going through the obituary files. I don't envy you. Oh, I've got it narrowed down to four years. Jane said she took Wanda to the Royal Theater, then went to the park. The Royal Theater was converted into a movie house in 1958, and it was torn down in 62. What'll I tell Dr. Rossfield? Be my guest. <laughs> I'm fixing your tea, Dad. Do you want some toast? No, uh, tea is enough this morning. Is Mom coming in for breakfast? She's still on duty. The hospital transferred her to the intensive care ward. Oh, one sugar. I could make cinnamon toast. No, I'm not hungry, Jane. Sit down. I want to talk to you. Talk? Jane, you know I'm not an educated man, but I try to have an open mind. We've been through it so much, you know, Wanda, Wanda, Wanda. Well, yesterday, this Dr. Shaker called me. He hammered me with questions. What in the world did you tell him? No more than what I've told you. I went to a movie, then I took Wanda to the park. I started getting sleepy. I said to Wanda, we're going to sit under this tree and take a nap. The last thing I remember was a dog barking. When I woke up, Wanda was gone. I lost her. Jane, you and I are sitting in this kitchen. There are two bedrooms in this house. Your mother and I sleep in one, and you sleep in the other. Where does Wanda sleep? I know it's weird. I can't explain it. It's a feeling I can't control. I can't sleep. I can't rest. I know there's no Wanda in this house. There never has been. But there is a Wanda someplace in my life. And I have to find her. Help me, Dad. Yes? Dr. Shaker's here. Send him in. You, uh, 
Wanted to see me, Dr. Rossfield? You asked for two weeks, Shaker. I gave them to you. The two weeks ended yesterday. I'm very close now, Dr. Rossfield. I need a few more days. You act like I'm some kind of administrator in an accounting office. You're putting this on a personal level. My interest is in Jane. My interest is in Jane, too. And this clinic. And what I believe in. What is best for Jane. I had a long talk with Jane's parents this morning. For your information, Jane is back in the clinic. She is going to receive the treatment the staff recommended. You didn't put her back on Ward 3. Yes, and the committal has my full endorsement. I know, Jane. I know where I'm going with her. If you keep her here under these conditions, there may be appalling repercussions. I hate to repeat myself, but you asked for two weeks. And Jane's still looking for her sister, Wanda. You believe that Jane is not telling the truth. I believe that she did have a sister named Wanda. Think about it. She talked about a park with an Indian statue. Water ran out of his hands. Three blocks from the park, she said her house was on a street called Colby. So far, I've located the park. It's in San Diego. There is a statue just as Jane described it. And there is a street named Colby. And it is three blocks from the park. I think you should take your psychic act and put it in a carnival where it belongs. I want to take Jane to San Diego with me. You're not taking her anywhere. You don't understand. We're fighting time. There could be a complete breakdown. I've got to go to the ward and talk to her right now. You don't understand, Shaker. You're off the case. I've given specific instructions that she's not to be exposed to you and your idiotic ideas. This Monday, there's a meeting of the board. Not only will you be off this case, but you'll be out of this clinic once and for all. <laughs> Radio Theater will return after this message from your local station. Yeah, that was about two weeks after Dad had his stroke. Did he have high blood pressure? Don't know. He's doing a little better now, but he can't speak too well. Has trouble walking too, doesn't he? Yeah, it's truly a shame. You have high blood pressure? I don't know. I feel okay. I'm not high-strung like Dad. Whether you're high-strung or low-strung, whether you feel just fine or not, has nothing to do with high blood pressure. High blood pressure is a major risk factor in stroke and heart attack, but it has no obvious symptoms. It can only be detected by a simple, quick, and painless test. The American Heart Association also wants you to know that black Americans, as a group, are more likely to have high blood pressure than whites. We don't know why. But high blood pressure can usually be controlled if it's detected. For more information, contact your American Heart Association. We're fighting for your life. Here's a tip from your Better Business Bureau. Each year, medical quackery takes many dollars from unsuspecting people, as well as endangering the health of innocent victims. Watch out for the telltale signs. There are several different types of quackery to look out for. For example, false claims for drugs, food fads, and unnecessary food supplements, as well as fake medical devices. Remember that their promoters are much more interested in making money than in preserving health. Quackery and drugs include so-called cures for arthritis, rheumatism, baldness, and pills that supposedly melt away fat. Drug quackery can be very dangerous in that the victim is sometimes kept from seeing a doctor and obtaining life-saving treatment. The food quack attempts to convince the dieter that vitamin supplements are the only way to a thinner body. And once again, only a doctor should diagnose a vitamin deficiency and write up the necessary prescription. A tip from your Better Business Bureau. <laughs> Vincent Price again, and here's the concluding act of Wanda. Mildred, Mildred? What is it? Would you please join us? Dr. Shaker is here. He wants to talk to both of us. I'll be right there. I don't know what to tell you, Dr. Shaker. I know it's hard for you and your wife to understand. Believe me, I know you're trying to do what is right, but the last place for Jane to be right now is in that clinic. Listen, I want to cut this short. Jack and I have had all we can take... You came here twice a day for two weeks. We went along with it. Jane is still looking for Wanda. And you, you call yourself a doctor. And you're looking for Wanda, too. Mrs. Lightfall. We love Jane. But Dr. Rossfield is right. 
she needs psychiatric help, and we're going to have to live with it. <sighs> For Jane's sake, I wish I could convince you you're making a big mistake. Well, it's not like she's four or five anymore. She's 14 years old. I was willing to try anything, even this far-fetched notion of yours that she might have had another life. But I realize now that we have to be realistic and objective about Jane's sickness. Oh, I'll get it. Believe me, Dr. Shaker, it, it's nothing personal. I certainly have an open mind, but what you're asking is just beyond me. Yes, this is Mrs. Lovett. It's a concept that most people have difficulty accepting. Well, this is not this mysticism. Our research I is scientific. Cases I like Jane's have been well documented. Well, well for me, right it's here. unreal. It's not my belief. Please, I have nothing to base ago. it on. Jack. Jack. What is it? That was the clinic. They... Well, don't just stand there. What are you trying to tell me? It's Jane. She ran away from the clinic. She broke a window to get out. Oh, no. Jack, there was blood on the floor. She must have cut herself. Uh, pardon me, could you tell me uh, what time does the feature start? In about ten minutes. Oh, thank you. I can't get in the ladies' room. It's locked. Mm -hmm. But I can hear someone in there. It sounds like she's crying. <laughs> Open the door. You hear me? Open the door. Tell Wanda to wait for me in the lobby. You'll have to open the door. I can hardly hear you. Tell Wanda I'll be right out. What did she say? Slide the lock back. And I mean now. What's she doing? It's that freak again. I'm going to call the police. What is it? Mr. and Mrs. Lytle are back. Have them come in. Uh, come in. Oh. I've had a report from the police. Oh, have they found her? No, not yet, but she was in the theater. We just came from the park, and not a sign of her. Yeah, we know her pattern, her habits. It's just a question of time. Uh, I beg of you, please, wait at home. Oh, but if she's cut herself... It couldn't have been too bad, Mrs. Lytle. It was nearly two hours after she broke out when she caused a disturbance in the theater. It's obvious she's quite active... Now, the best way you can help her is to wait at home. Oh, this is so different. She's run off, but she's never done anything violent. Well, I've been studying the staff report. Jane's behavior at this point is not unexpected. She needs help, and it's going to take time. Now, I know your concern. We'll find her. Have no fears. But if you want to help Jane, then my advice is for you to go home. Oh, Supposing can... Jane decides to return to the house, and you're not there waiting for her. We're closed. Can't you read the sign? Uh, my name is Crane Shaker. Now listen, I'm a doctor and I'm looking for a young girl. I don't make the rules, doctor. The animal shelter is run by the county. Now it's spelled out right there. Closing hour is six o'clock. I just want to come in and look for this girl, if you will. Let me explain. I, I, a... I can't do it. The supervisor is gone. There's just me and one other security guard. Her name is Jane. She's 14 years old. She's in trouble. She needs me. She could be hiding in there. Well, we always do a check before we lock the gate. Now, if she was here, I'd know it. But it's possible that you may... All right, all right. You, you wait here. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, take a look around. Doctor, doctor, I found her. She was in the storage house. Uh, come to the side gate and I'll let you in. <laughs> Go away. Go away. Jane, I've come here to help you. I don't believe you anymore. You lied to me. No, Jane. Dr. Rossfield believed I was lying to him. You were going to help me find Wanda. I haven't stopped, Jane. I'm still looking for Wanda. Oh, who's this one? Does he drive the ambulance? No, Jane. He works here. He helps take care of the animals. I, I had to call the police. I can't help it. They, they got a rule for everything around what here. What does that mean? Well, if you're not her legal guardian, then I have to wait on the police. <laughs> Do you mind if I make use of your first aid kit? No rule says you can. I'm not leaving. That, that cut on her hand, that don't look too good. It's not too deep. No, Jane, don't take your hand away. I want to fix no, this bandage. go away. Sir, I'm sorry. Have you got a pair of scissors? Oh, wasn't there one in the kit? No, I couldn't find one. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. Jane, I know where to find Wanda. Hold out your hand. No, he's telling me stories. Wanda is sleeping. No, you double-crossed me. Jane, listen to me. I'll take you to Wanda. I believe in you. I can prove it. 
Now, Jane, I'm going to open the door. Can you hear them, Jane? Listen, Jane. Wanda can't be too far away. Hello? Mr. Lytle, this is Dr. Shaker. I found Jane. You don't have to worry. She's all right. Mildred, it's Dr. Shaker. He found Jane. He says she's all right. Jack, listen to me. Jane and I are going to stop someplace, have some ice cream. We're going to talk. Then I don't want to take her to the clinic. I want to bring her home. Home? Now remember, Jack, I knew where to find her. You know I'm not going to hurt her. And I need your cooperation for Jane's sake. If you insist on her going back to the clinic, then I have no choice. Where'd you find her? At the dog pound. Hey, wait a minute. Why are you holding your hand over the receiver? I want to talk to you. What's wrong? This is Dr. Shaker, and I know you think he's crazy. <laughs> This is all so weird. But he knew where to go and find her. What are you trying to tell me? He wants to bring Jane home. Dr. Rossfield took him off the case. Off the case. Well, maybe Shaker is right. Maybe it's not a case. How will we ever know unless we give Shaker a chance? I don't know. Well, what have we got to lose? What are you taking your tea, Doctor? Oh, just a little milk and sugar, please. I still don't understand the dog pound. The minute she got in bed, she fell asleep like a baby. Wanda supposedly had a dog that used to follow her around the park. Jane couldn't remember the dog's name. Well, after she left the theater, the police at one point spotted her on the south side, but they lost her. At that point, I knew she was looking for Wanda's dog. When I found her at the pound, she was very close to a complete breakdown. Now, please understand, we have to be very careful now. What are you asking of us? Well, I have to state to you, even though you're aware of it, that Dr. Rossfield doesn't believe in anything I'm doing for Jane. As you know, I've been taken off the case. First, I can't do anything for Jane unless you give me permission. Well, just tell me what you want me to do. To begin with... I want your full approval, and yours, Mrs. Lytle. I'd like Jane to feel she's being supported on all sides. Well, I know you're on Jane's side, but I just don't understand well, this. Well, the only way we're going to help Jane is to release her from feeling responsible about losing her sister. Well, I'm so tired of saying it. She doesn't have a sister. No, sir. There was a sister. Her name was Wanda. But it was in another life. What? Another life? Yes. There are many names for it. Some people call it reincarnation. Some people call it transcending. Some people call it transmigration of souls. I would be lying if I told you I really understood it, but I have located a Wanda, and it could be Jane's sister. Well, it's beyond me. I don't know what to say. There have been many cases recorded all over the world. It's not that uncommon. There are many institutions doing research. Try to accept it. Jane is not sick. Let's start out now by taking her statements as... Possible facts. Like what? Well, Jane talked about an Indian statue. Soft, ripe green pears. The park was gray. There was a street named Colby. And there was a theater named The Royal. And she talked about hearing a siren. Could have been a fire engine, an ambulance. Those are the clues. The siren, the movie theater, tell me we don't have to go back to the dark ages. It establishes the time as the present. The next step was to find the place. Jane and I both agreed that a ripe green pear is an avocado. That limited the area in which I had to search. There are not that many places that grow avocados. What did I need next? In that area, there had to be a park with an Indian statue that had water running out of its hands. There had to be a street three blocks from the park named Colby. I found such a place. It's in San Diego. The whole idea scares me. There's nothing to be afraid of, Mrs. Lytle. We can't let ourselves be trained animals, schooled to perform in an isolated ring. We have to open our minds. There are so many rings out there to explore. It was hard for me in the beginning to make the break. We're like computers. We've been programmed as to what to accept and what to reject. The first step is to tell yourself you are not a computer. I'll try. Well, what do you want to do, Dr. Shaker? I'd like to take Jane to San Diego, and I want you and your wife to come with me. Yes? Mrs. Weber, I'm Crane Shaker. Oh, please, come in. Would you like some coffee? Tea? I'd like you to feel comfortable with Thank me. Thank you, nothing for me. Oh, all right. When you um, called yesterday, I must confess I was very confused. 
Today, I would have to say that's an understatement. What has this got to do with Wanda? I hope it's not too difficult for you to talk about. No, it's still difficult, even though it happened 18 years ago. I know. And I still don't know what you're talking about. Once I pinpointed the location, I went through all the obituaries. Mrs. Weber, you had two daughters named Wanda and Jane. They were killed in an automobile accident on Colby Street. I don't need you to remind me of that. True. Who are you? You told me on the phone you were trying to help some girl. Now, what in the world do you want from me? The cemetery, where your daughters are buried. Jane, I've brought you and your mother and father to this graveyard for a reason. Jane... Look at this gravestone and tell me what you see written on it. Wanda Weber, age six. It was not your fault, Jane. The driver lost control of his car. He jumped the curb. The car tore into the swings. Wanda died in the ambulance. I can hear the siren. That Wanda died 18 years ago. Jane wasn't even born then. Wanda had a sister who was named Jane. She was also killed in the accident. You can look at the dates. It's clear to all of us that it happened 18 years ago. Jane, we have found Wanda. You don't have to look for her anymore. Y you mean another Jane? Come over here. Now, read this stone. Jane Weber, age nine. That's hard to believe. I know. It takes a while for these kinds of revelations to sink in. There were two sisters, Jane and Wanda Weber, ages six and nine. They were in the park playing on the swings. The dog started across the street. The driver of the car tried to swing around the dog. Unfortunately, he hit the curb and couldn't control the car. The car smashed into the swings. Oh. The Webbers lost both their children. And as you can see, that was 18 years ago. Oh, do come in. Mrs. Weber, this is Mr. and Mrs. Lytle. Oh, how do you do? And this is Jane. How do you do, Mrs. Weber? Well, this is strange to me, but Dr. Shaker is very compelling. And I agree we should be candid. Jane, you don't look like my Jane. You don't look like Mildred. Mildred? There was a Mildred. She was our housekeeper. Uh, I remember that door. Oh, uh, that is a closet. But... But you have to go in the closet to reach the basement door. I remember, because that's where I used to hide my toys from Wanda. That's amazing. The door to the basement is in the closet. Mrs. Weber, don't look for coincidence. And don't any of you be frightened by this. There's nothing to fear in that we are all subject to previous lives. <laughs> The door's open, Shaker. Why are you knocking on it? It was a matter of courtesy, Dr. Rossville. Well, that's the last thing I expected from you. <clears throat> you sent for me? Uh, yes. I can't deny the end results are what count. <clears throat> We've closed the book on Jane Lytle. All the symptoms have disappeared. Wanda is a figure of the past for Jane. But in all honesty, Shaker... Do you really believe in reincarnation? Do you really believe in reincarnation? There is the correct, absolute truth. And there is the truth that satisfies.
Can't believe you owe the IRS that much? Well, when things just don't add up, you can count on a Sears desk calculator to help you. Add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Then read the figures two different ways. 12-digit lighted display and tape printout for your records. There's a two-memory system that helps ease multi-step problems, plus its many extras make it a great time saver. Now at most Sears retail stores. Sears two-memory desk calculator. Cut $25, just $99.99 through March 10th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. You want to buy some radios, but tires all look the same. You've got to have good feelings, you've got to trust the name. You know our reputation, remember what we said. When Sears is behind you, you come out. When my brother was my age, being in style meant wearing old jeans and about a pound of dirt. But today, us guys are more sophisticated in our style. And that's why Sears has Style Works. A guy can pick up on the latest styles in jeans, tops, sweaters, and dress your clothes like vested suits. I can depend on the Style Works shop at Sears for just about everything to keep me looking great. And the prices? Pretty reasonable. My folks like that. Style Works. Today, style's all in one place. At most larger Sears retail stores. To look the height of fashion wherever I go requires many coats. But for home, I need only one coat fashion surrounding me. Sears Best Easy Living Interior Paint. One coat of easy living on the walls and every room looks stunning while I entertain or just relax. Choose from 24 decorator colors in easy living flat latex and semi-gloss, plus bright white ceiling paint for your home. Because with Sears Easy Living Paint, all you need is one coat when used as directed at most Sears retail stores. You've been listening to Sears Radio Theater, brought to you five nights a week by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops. Wanda was written by Bernard Girard. Produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your host was Vincent Price. Our stars were Lynn Berman, Peggy Weber, and Rusi Taylor. Also heard were Barney Phillips, Michael Gelman, Byron Kane, Sarah Selby, Herb Vigran, Barbara Townsend, and Lorene Tuttle. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliott Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI.